Hello and welcome awesome people. With Yuji getting two curse techniques on top of simple domain and Sukuna making a comeback by using his altered malevolent shrine and fire curse technique, it's Yuji's turn now to regain his advantage and receive another power up. Recent leaks show that Itadori Yuji is about to get new domain expansion that will not only turn the tides of the battle but possibly create a new monster that can rival OG Sukuna in terms of strength. In my previous videos I mentioned that Yuji definitely has at least one one more hidden card because during that one month training period Yuji had two soul swap partners from whom he should have learned two curse techniques or maybe even a domain expansion. We know that Itadori gained blood manipulation and a unique body that allows him to heal way more effectively than typical RCT users through absorbing his brothers. We also know that he can now use slushes thanks to Sukuna using his body as a vessel for an extended period of time. Even though his slushes are different from Sukuna's as Yuji can't send them from a distance and has to directly touch the target in order to activate the curse technique. It's possible that these changes are due to him not being adept at using it. Once he gains more experience and becomes more accustomed, he will also be able to send slashes at a distance. With that being said, we have no idea who Yuji's second training partner was. According to Yu Yu, he can swap a soul of a person two times during one month. And considering how many benefits each soul swap can bring, I doubt Itadori would waste this chance and be content with training just with Kusakabe. Knowing Yuji's character and his determination to achieve his goal and stop Sukuna no matter what, he would be willing to take any risks, as he still feels responsible for what happened in Shibuya. This was proved by his willingness to die at Higuruma's hands. So, there is a huge chance that Yuji will gain another curse technique or even domain expansion and I'm leaning towards the latter, though I'm not sure if this so-called leak is genuine. But Itadori will most likely need his domain to counter Sukuna's fire attack, which looks really devastating. Regardless of whether it's a single target attack or an area attack, its main target will most definitely be Itadori, who managed to threaten Sukuna's existence. There are a few other ways for Yuji to survive this attack, like one of his pals sacrificing themselves to save him, who is the only real shot the good guys have at defeating Sukuna at the moment. However, Gege may not go that route and instead decide to give Yuji his own domain to counter Sukuna's, especially since Yuji can now use slashes that arguably are a manifestation of a shrine. So it's more likely that he will also gain the malevolent shrine domain. This may be my wishful thinking, but this so-called leak also claims that so why not right? By the way, if you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe to support me. So what happens if Yuji actually receives a boost and uses a domain like Malleable and Shrine? Considering how weak Sukuna is at the moment with two of his hands cut off, his heart pierced by Maki brain damage sustained during the fight with Gojo still not healed and his cursed energy and control over Megumi's body weakened by Yuji's strikes, one might think that Sukuna won't be able to take on Yuji inside his domain and will go down. But there there is no way the King of Curses will be defeated that easily. I'm not sure if he still has a hidden trump card to play, but he has two well-known ones. One is Uraome who has been on the sidelines fighting Hakari off-screen for like 20 chapters. The second trump card is of course the curse merger he can accomplish anytime he wants thanks to Kenjaku's final gift. Depending on how the fight goes, either one of these could become a game changer. Even if Sukuna never considered losing, especially to Yuji, a fighter as experienced as himself must be prepared for every scenario regardless of how unlikely it is. I believe the curse merger is a less likely scenario because Sukuna won't benefit much from it as he himself can't fight against it in his weakened state. However, if Yuji actually manages to push him into a corner with no ways left to save himself, the mighty king of curses will most likely create a new villain and go down with a final bang. On the other hand, if Uraume manages to defeat Hakari, there is a chance that she will prepare a meal for Sukuna out of him. After all, Rome is Sukuna's personal chef. I'm not sure if absorbing Hakari will let Sukuna recover, and if it does, to what extent. But the fact that Yui has been teleporting both corpses and injured allies all this time must mean that the good guys are aware of Sukuna's abilities to absorb consumed foes and gain cursed energy and cursed technique through that. To be honest, I won't be surprised if Urome becomes the meal herself. Her blind loyalty could possibly push her to become a sacrifice for Sukuna. There are so many possibilities that it's difficult to predict something. But we won't have to wait for a long time. In few days new chapter will be released and I will obviously make a review as soon as possible. If you enjoy my content please like and subscribe. I am now covering One Piece 2 together with Jujutsu Kaisen and Soul Leveling. That's it for today guys. See you in next video and in the meantime as always stay awesome.